So the resolution is uh, the United States federal government should substantially reduce the role of the I'm sorry, the United States federal government should substantially reduce the role of Southern Command in Latin America. <clears throat> okay, so uh, right now in the right now Brazilian uh, right now in the Southern Command does training Southern Command does training in Latin America. Brazilian Army Deputy Chief of Staff San Antonio for the 32nd Annual Staff Talks between the two nations' armies. Last year, the staff talks were held in Brazil, and both armies have been conducting 70 agreed, 70 agreed to events, training exercises, and exchanges together as a result of the agreements in 2015. As the Army Service Component Command for, United, uh, for the U.S. Southern Command, uh, U.S. Self, uh, Army Self conducts staff talks on behalf of the Chief Staff of the Army. Um, uh, Southern Command Experts are, are, being tra are training uh, in West Africa. Okay, the U.S. bases are a threat against any progressive uh, government or insurgency in the region, including Colombia. Latin America military personnel are trained by the Colombian and U.S. militaries, often in parliamentary tactics. Colombian anti-insurgency -insurgency, uh, forces have been trained on now travel through the, uh, through the Americas as well as West Africa, and as well as train to uh, other militaries. Okay, going on to our uh, our plan, the United States federal government will uh, in, uh, uh, substantially reduce the role of Southern Command in Latin America by ending all military training export programs in Colombia and Brazil. Limiting countries, uh, uh, limiting countries are good. Limiting the debate to two countries gives the negation. So, going on to solvency, Judge, uh, okay, the United States needs a new foreign policy in Latin America based on democracy, development, and the preservation of human rights. Uh, Latin America nations will demand no less. Before you give a cry for war, I would like to invite you, I would like to invite you to think about a different type of world leadership, uh, one which must convince rather than conquer, in which the human species can show that in the last thousand years we have overcome an idea, the idea for an eye for an eye. So uh, the, the funding for Columbia's armed forces continues despite the evidence offered in a 2010 study which showed that the rate of extrajudicial killings and other war crimes committed by individual units often spiked just after receiving U.S. aid in the form of training, construction, helicopter fleets, and advanced, advanced weapon systems. Going on to our advantage one, water. ISIS has been trying for years to convince Muslims around the world that the West, and especially America, is at war with them. Donald, President Donald Trump's new executive, order, new executive order on immigration will make it much easier to make that case. Uh, by blocking refugees from several Muslim countries and prioritizing Christian ones, the Trump administration seems to be sending the message that U.S. doesn't care about Muslim uh, suffering. ISIS propagandists couldn't have said it better themselves. Uh, point two of that is uh, uh, the United Nations Children's Fund said, uh, said that Boko Haram terrorists have destroyed 75% of the infrastructure in northeast Nigeria. Boko Haram's activities have been escalating steadily in Nigeria. The Nigerian state responded to the Boko Haram escalating uh, violence by declaring a state of emergency in these states. Yes, despite this federal, yet yeah, despite the federal effort to reduce the political threat posed by Boko Haram, <clears throat> the ICG also suggests that Nigeria's federal government should reduce its mil militaristic approach towards Boko Haram, which has so far only encouraged frustrated, unemployed youths in those regions to join the vigilante group. Uh, and, uh, tampered water can have multiple health problems, Judge. Unsafe water can be used, uh, can cause mal malnutrition, or it can make it worse. No matter how much food a malnourished child eats, he or she will get no better if the water they are drinking is not safe. Um, agency is warning that a combination of malnutrition, dirty water, and uh, dirty water and poor sanitation sets off a vicious cycle from which many children never recover. Uh, the current needs uh, from 3.3 million to 4.45 million people, uh, um, they they lack safe water, sanitation, and hygiene, where the half of the water uh, points in the country have been damaged or destroyed. Boko Haram is, uh, the Boko Haram fighting has caused millions of people to be displaced. Children are dying from diseases, at least 14.5 million people. Um, the fighting in Yemen has displaced at least 14.5 million people, leaving them uh, without basic sanitation and adequate drinking water. Almost 2 million children are at risk of diarrhea diseases, which even before the conflict were the second leading cause of death among children under the age of 5. But without an end to the conflicts plaguing in those countries with uh, substantial and uh, unimpeded access to the children in need of support, without uh, more resources. Even our best efforts will not be enough. Advantage two is militarization. 
uh, Af uh, Af Afro-Brazilians have led many social rebellions over the course of their history. From the enslaved Africans to the black uh, press movement, so the black citizens have long fought against the injustices forced upon them by the uh, Brazilian government. Uh, two, uh, Brazil education is now low. There are teachers who can't even write. Kids are showing up for class just for the free lunch. Uh, they have little chance of leaving with decent education. Point three on that second advantage. Military causes and underfunding in Brazil. There's a huge difference in the, in the quality of education between private and public schools in Brazil. The military dictatorship in Brazil led to a lack of funding at primary and secondary schools. Therefore, the quality of education being offered is also suffered. The, uh, going to point four there on the second advantage, U.S. military training causes the police militarization. Since its inception, the Constitution has instructed tens of thousands of Latin American soldiers in military and law enforcement tactics. The School of America is utilizing training manuals, advocating co uh, uh, co coercive interrogation techniques and executions. After their training, the institution officers went on to commit countless human rights atrocities. That's right. After the soldiers got an SOA, they committed countless human rights atrocities. Point five of that second advantage. Uh, actually, so now three minutes of cross examination. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, awesome. So, exactly, tell me your plan in your own words. Okay, our plan is to uh, we're gonna we're gonna reduce the role of uh, Southern Command in uh, in in, uh, in Colombia and Brazil. Uh, right now, what's going, what's happening is in the. Um, uh, Wait, by how? How are you going to reduce the role in, in Colombia and Brazil? Uh, we're going to be. Our plan specifically states that um, we're going to. Um, uh, the, the United States is foreign policy and Latin America is based on democracy. So what we're going to essentially do is uh, military. We're going to stop. The SOA. We want to stop the SOA from training soldiers anymore. The SOA is School of America's. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's, you're going to stop training soldiers for all the South Coms? No, no, not American soldiers. We want to stop training Latin American soldiers because that's what's happening. We're training Latin American soldiers through SOA and through and when they get out of SOA, that's when they they become violent. They start killing people, and that's they use these training techniques. The Latin American police officers they use these training techniques to militarize their police. And um, that's what the schools of America is. You're trained to become a commander. You, you're not, uh, you know, they're using these techniques to police their own citizens, which is yeah, awesome. Thank uh, you. Uh, do you plan on there being um, uh, budget cuts for for the stopping of training? It will save money. We, um, they will. Okay, the budget cuts are going to happen. The we're not going to. We're going to be saving money if we're not. If the SOA, so the United we, States federal government will be saving money if the if the SOA is not training people. We're not spending that. I'm money sorry. Maybe money. I rephrased this question wrong. Will there be? I mean, are we going to be? Um, are we going to be cutting military spending? Will it help cut military spending? It will. It will cut. It will cut our military spending absolutely because we won't be spending training Latin American soldiers on the American taxpayer dime. Um, how does water, how does, how does the water have to do with the Muslim, you, you had the, the advantage number one is not water, how does, how does that have to right. do with Muslim right. suffering? Right, okay, so if you go back to my solvency point there, uh, on the, on my sheet, yeah. it talks about how the, uh, the, the Latin American soldiers, they're actually being, not only being trained in Latin America, they're being sent to Africa to be trained, so that's where Africa comes in, and that's where Nigeria comes in. And that's where they're training these soldiers in Africa. And in Africa, that's where Boko Haram, that was a huge like uh, 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 water plant that that, uh, that, w that went bad. It's, it's a water plant, they damaged it, a lot of people died. Um, and the clean water is being, uh, it's not clean anymore because of that. And that's why it brought Africa into the discussion. Okay. Uh, how does, how does, You, you talked about in your three minutes off. Okay, okay. So now we have the first negative constructive, which is seven minutes long. Uh, do you mind if I take some prep time? Oh no, I, I don't mind.
just going to send it through the email. It's not going to come as a, it's just going to come as like text. It's okay. not going to come as like an actual uh, attachment. Faye dot Fishman, F I S H M A N two two four nine at gmail dot com. sending it, you can start my speech now and just try sending it to me when he uses his prep time. I don't need it during your speech. Oh, I got it. I got yeah, it. I was like, oh, man. I got it. Okay. I have seven minutes, yes? This is next one? Right.
because the NFA LDA rules state that if they aren't topical, you can't debate against it. So he's not topical because he's not cutting spending by 50% and because he is not in the region. Uh, if you want to say that he is cutting, that, that the cut that he's going to make um, by just stopping military spending for, for training, for just the training in Colombia and then one other place he said, is over 50%, then, uh, then we have a debt ceiling problem. Budget deal, debt ceiling DA. Uh, budget dealer has raised thin margin, but party leadership on both sides agreed to work together. Clark, 2017. Congress is only until tw April 28th to avoid a government shutdown, and it will be a recess in two weeks period. Lawmakers in both chambers and both parties expect that the budget battle will be resolved. No to say there won't be favored in negotiations, doomsday scenarios, and a deal struck likely to be in the nick of time. A solution is no sure thing, but it would re represent a ra rare benefit by partnership. That's because Republicans are likely to need Democratic votes to get the budget bill approved. In recent years, more conservative members of the House of Representatives have rejected last-minute shutdown preventing deals involving spending increases and bigger deficits. Republican leadership may want to strike a deal and illustrate it can govern. The White House said that Thursday on spending cuts wanted, to t wanted and a deal to keep the government open. We're not mutually exclusive. We don't want the government to, sh to shut down, Spicer said. Democrats who don't want to be blamed for a shutdown but also don't want to give in to Trump have put Republicans on notice that they have that they have back and so-called poison poison pill provisions. Chuck Schumer of New York and the other Senate Democrats want Republicans in a letter earlier this month that any poison pill writers, such as those rollback protections in the veterans environment consumers will work, would re result in a republic shutdown. Senate Democrats are prepared to fight all the way. We are not going to have a government shutdown, Ryan said. Plans in reduction military spending is a slap in the face to the party faithful that's any hope to deal. Examiner 17. Conservatives are optimistic an aggressive deal that debt ceiling can be reached under President Trump and the Republican Congress, but signs are starting to emerge that the issue could split Republicans just as they were to split the health care bill in March, which could force GOP leaders to work with Democrats and lead to a less than ideal debt ceiling deal by the fall. The debt ceiling debate could quickly turn from an opportunity to showcase party unity into another stark example of party division. The debt ceiling should be an easy to accomplish unifying event for Republicans. GOP leaders support less spending. Trump promised the campaign to cut spending and reduce the 20 million national debt, and he named the deficit Pop Mick Mulvaney as his budget director. Conservatives take all of that, plus Trump's budget, to cut domestic spending while boosting defense spending as part of signs that Trump would lead to the GOP on a more, su on a more sustainable physical path. Going over causes in a double dip recession, multiple warrants and scenarios. National Journal 13. The House voted to reject the hike on the debt limit. Congress fails to raise the debt limit. The Treasury has only has two options. Default on its debt limit or halt any of the federal spending above what the government collects. That would mean an overnight spending cut of about 40%. Here are the consequences of the Treasury for forced to choose to cut $125 billion per month. These cuts could affect everything. Treasury bonds collapse if the government defaults on its own debt. Economists say that the prices would collapse and the interest rates would probably soar to the record high. Third way estimates of the bonds would increase that would not would alone eliminate six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. 650,000 jo jobs. To reduce spending, the government would have to make deep cuts. Medicare and Social Security stock markets plunge with Wall Street generally agrees it would be a disaster if the U.S. defaulted on debt. In addition to damaging the, na the nation's cred cred creditworthiness in global markets, most ex experts agree that torpedo and stock market are very possibly trigger a double dip recession. The federal government would most likely turn to four lows or, ma or mass layoffs. This could drain even more money from the local economies and the staff states. This state's tax basis, sky-high mortgage and interest rates if the government defaults. Home buyers and small businesses would have trouble getting loans even if they could afford the higher interest. Economic decline goes nuclear. Tunisian for 15. Negative expectations may generate tensions leading to trade wars among interdependent states that increase risk of conflict if one country is governed by another inward-looking socioeconomic coalition. If leaders fear or anticipate decline, they may blame external dependence. Appeal to anti-foreign sentiments contemplate to use a force of gain, credibility, or cred adoption protectionist policies and refuse to be de deteriorated by nuclear arms or socialist calamities. Shifts happen abruptly. The great risk is change in the world economy, alter circumstances. Armageddon one powers Armageddon one powers might gamble the other yield in a cyber war or conventional war. So pretty much Oh, I didn't even argue that the fact that the topicality in equals throughout. He's only talking about the two places, Columbia and one other place. Interpretation. It means throughout. Uh, Latin America refers to the continuous landmass from North America to South Southern uh, Chile. Read that. Violation says, plan says, con uh,
how does my plan not solve for the new resolution? How does your plan not solve? Do you know what my plan was? Your plan is to stop military training in Colombia and what was the other place? Uh, stop uh, training export programs in Colombia and Brazil. Exactly. So uh, your plan is to substantially, re we're supposed to be substantially reducing the role that Latin America, that U.S. subject commands plays in Latin America. And by definition, it's not in Latin America. It's going elsewhere to exports. Emphasis on your exports. Um, it's, I can't even debate on it because uh, you're talking, so most of your advantages are about um, Africa. Um, it's also not redu substantially reducing because it doesn't cut spending by 50%. Uh, so, so if Colombia and Brazil is not in Latin America, where is it? I'm, Africa's not in Latin America. Also, um, with topicality, N equals through at. Um, so, those two places may be in Latin America. Okay, sorry. Those two places may be in Latin America, but you're being too specific that we have to talk about all of Latin America and how um, Southern Command should be reduced from all of Latin America, or else I can't really just study every single country and know what you're gonna, which which little spot drop in the water you're gonna pick. Okay. Um, tell me about the uh, the budget you're talking about. So right now we have a debt ceiling going on. Um, that means like. Uh, our, the, America has a cap on the credit that they're allowed to spend, and we're in the process of Congress trying to get that that uh, that debt ceiling higher. But the, the Republicans won't vote for it to get higher unless Trump says that he won't cut military spending. And technically, you said, "Oh, it's for sure, definitely going to cut military spending." So the debt ceiling is not going to get higher. Um, the U.S. economy will collapse. What'd you say? Okay, the U.S. economy will collapse, and it'll lead to global economic collapses, which will then lead to nuclear war. Because I'm not nuclear. It will lead to war because. So how are we going to raise the debt ceiling? By not cutting military spending, and then the Republicans will vote for the debt ceiling to be raised. So, so what's happening in the status quo is military spending going up or down. Is military spending going up or down? In the status quo. Um, so, well, Trump recently became president, and there's, uh, he says that military spending will be going up. He has said that, but um, as of now, as far as I know to certain aspects, there has been cutting from some places, but for the near future, it's supposed to be going up. So it's, okay. kind of, it's kind of up in the air right now. Okay, so military, you're saying, hasn't gotten any new blood since Trump has become president. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> so, are you using prep? Um, yeah, give me like 30 seconds. How long is my next speech? What was that? How long is my next speech? Uh, it's going to be six minutes. Minus six minutes also. Yes. Nice. <laughs> right, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Okay. All right, Judge. First of all, I'm going to address the topicality issues that you know, my opponent had brought up. Um, uh, my opponent said that um, Boko Haram is not a part of Latin America. She's totally correct. It's in Africa. Uh, the reason why I brought up uh, uh, Boko Haram is because that through the SOA, through the schools of America, we are training Latin American soldiers in Latin America. And sometimes we send those same soldiers to train in Africa. So they're getting the training in Africa. Like, uh, like it says in my, like it's in my, um, in my solvency card, in my, in my, in my cards that you can look at. Um, it's all in there. Um, I meet their interpretation uh, because uh, in my solvency text, like it says, uh, um, the soldiers are getting sent to Africa to train. So that's where Africa comes in. Again, so this pertains to uh, this, uh, the standards. is uh, It's on education. I do not violate because uh, it's, um, it's uh, evidence on my solvency. Uh, judge, uh, a priori, I look to, um, I, I want you to look at this first before you judge anything else. 
And again, I'm going to address the another topicality on top of this. Um, I want to address the substantial topicality. Okay, so our, my opponent said that my plan was not substantial enough. And she actually highlighted what her definition of substantial was, which was, I believe it's in her plan text as well, on the very first page, um, it's 50% um, or more. So or she's saying that uh, substantial means 50% or more. My plan, Judge, is for the United States federal government to end all military export programs in Colombia and Brazil, which is in Latin America. That is substantially cutting it, okay? So I meet their interpretation, Judge, uh, because as I just told you, I just proved it wrong. Um, going back on the standards of education, I, I didn't violate because it's in my plan text. And there's evidence on it. So Judge priori, I ask you to look at this and don't count the second top Kelly against me either. Um, uh, my opponent did start to get, uh, she started on a third top of Kelly. Uh, I would attack that too if I she would have finished it. But uh, anyways, uh, so basically my plan judge, it's going to, um, my judge, my judge, I don't see my judge, my plan, my plan does, uh, does, two, does, does a few things here. It solves for, it solves for uh, the water issue that is in Africa due to the military training that's going on in Africa through the SOA in Latin America through Africa, that's affecting the water. So um, that's, that's where Africa comes in. The uh, United Nations uh, even said that Boko Haram terrorists destroyed 70% of the water infrastructure. So if there's no water for people to be drink, uh, to have clean water or drink water, they're gonna die. People are being dehumanized. They're not getting their human right to water. That's uh, okay. So going on to uh, the second, uh, our, my second advantage against her is that uh, Brazilians have uh, have led many uh, many rebellions over their uh, in Latin America, and they're getting training through the SOA. Um, these people, they're getting mil they're getting trained on ballistic missiles, getting trained on all these crazy weapons, but they can't use those same techniques in everyday life because those are military skills, those are tactical skill, skills. And what we're doing is we're militarizing their people to where it's actually, and I have evidence that states this on my advantage too here, um, uh, youth murders in Brazil uh, found that um, that over 23,000 uh, people were black and over half of those people were, uh, were under the ages of 16. So it's affecting their education because if they're spending if they're spending time and money on training themselves in, in, you know, in militaristic ways, they're not getting money towards their education. And like I pointed out in my advantage again, my second advantage, there's, there's much larger problems in Latin America. There's kids that can't even, there's teachers who don't even know how to read. They're supposed to be teachers, they don't know how to read. Kids are going to school just so they can get free lunches. So, uh, going back on to the, uh, Oh yeah, stolen second out here. Um, the military, uh, uh, the military uh, uh, training exercises that go on in Latin America, it it under it, it under it causes underfunding in Brazil. Like I just told you about the education, so it causes underfunding in places like education. So if these kids can't get educated, they're just going to go through the cycle of poverty. And uh, you know, every time they go through this, uh, when they get through the cycle of poverty, there's no going up. There's no end in sight. So um, by pulling out, by uh, essentially for the United States federal government to substantially reduce the role by uh, ending all military training export programs in Colombia and Brazil, uh, is it is going to solve for the problem. And again, uh, I just want to address uh, one more topicality issue. I forgot, uh, well, she didn't finish it, but uh, Colombia and Brazil, they are part of Latin America. Um, that is in the definition. I meet the interpretation of her definition. Uh, that's on the standards of education. I did not violate it because uh, because Colombia and Brazil are part of Latin America. Judge, I priori, a priori, please do not count me down for this topicality that my opponent negatively ran on me. Thank you. A minute and ten sessions of prep time.
first address the reasons why you have to vote nay. Um, yes, he did may talk, dabble in all my topicalities, but he really didn't solve any. Um, first of all, substantial reduction. My, my card says that it has to be reduced 50% of funding. And he talks about that just reducing his plan is to end training programs in Colombia and Brazil. Just the training programs in just Colombia and Brazil, which is nothing in comparison to what Southern Commands does. Southern Commands does humanitarian aid. It does drug trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, or prevents drug trafficking, sex trafficking, um, trafficking of weapons of mass destruction. Um, Southern Commands is, is such a large organization that ending the training program in just Colombia and Brazil will do nothing. It's not 50% of it's not 50% of funding, so he doesn't meet the substantial reduction topicality. For that reason alone, I should win, but I have more topicalities. In means throughout. He talks about Africa, which he says, and I quote, she is correct. Africa is not in Latin America. Boom. He doesn't even say anything after that. Africa is not in Latin America. Also, Brazil and Colombia, in means throughout. Colombia and Brazil are not, don't encompass all of South Africa, or does not encompass all of Latin America. So even if you just focused on Colombia and Brazil, they still wouldn't, it wouldn't be throughout because it's not all of Latin America. There's so many other regions that aren't accounted for. And he's not even talking about doing all of Southern Command's duties in, in Colombia and Brazil. He's just talking about the training programs in Colombia and Brazil. Uh, number three reason on topicality. Uh, Africa is not in Latin America. I think I've already discussed that. So let's go back to the reasons you have to vote negative. Um, he's violating he's violating all of these topicality rules, and so by by definition, you I have to have this win. Standards, limits, they allow the area of weak affirmatives, justify shift between countries, but allow forces in the regions. B, rounds, they reduce in one country and avoid links to sphere of influence. Um, So those are the topicality reasons. Uh, if, if that doesn't get the win alone, uh, let's talk about the debt ceiling, which he didn't even discuss. Right now, our country, this month, is, is voting on this debt ceiling. And he says in his first speech that it'll be cutting spending. We can't get that debt ceiling to, be, to rise if we cut military spending. The Republicans won't allow it, as it says in my cards. Um, if we don't cut the, the, if we don't get that debt ceiling raised, it's going to have our uh, credit as a country decline, and it's going to lead to um, to to the global economy collapsing. We're going to have problems in America with our. We're going to have local problems here with our economy, which will lead to global problems with the economy, and let's face it, the world revolves around money, and it's going to lead to war, and we can't have war. Uh, let's talk about a few things that he talks about in his advantages. He talks about the water, the, his, his advantage one is about the water in, in Africa. We have to defer that, because Africa is not in Latin America. Um, in his second card, NAN 17, he said, UN, the UN Nations Children Fund destroyed the water infrastructure. The UN Nations Children Fund destroyed the water infrastructure. UN Nations Children Fund is not Southern Commands. So we can't be held accountable for that. Um, and his second advantage, card number three, uh, where he talks about how the Brazil funding is, is in proportionate from, from military to the schools, and that's why the schools have teachers that can't read, and this whole sob story. But Brazil funding, it has nothing to do with what America controls. That's all Brazil funding. Like, we're there to help. Um, and we can't be held accountable for all of, for everything in this. And you have to dodge out advantage number two because it's all based on Brazil funding and not about Southern commands. And it has nothing to do with what his plan even says about military training, um, about military training expert programs, just the program by itself. I can't emphasize how much the how, how I can't emphasize enough how you have to vote for the negative because um, this this it goes against so many rules of topicality and on top of that the advantages and the points that he makes isn't even relevant to to the to the subject we're debating on. 
Um, I guess I just want to emphasize one more time to please vote negative because uh, if you if you donate, it could potentially lead to um, a collapse not only here in the United States but a, a global a global economic collapse um, and potentially war and extinction. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is where you're going to be voting for the affirmative side, Judge. Uh, again, I'm just going to quickly go over these topicalities one more time because I don't think you're, I don't think uh, maybe your opponent didn't understand or uh, you probably understood it. I'm just going to go over it again. Uh, I addressed the topicality, the topicality about um, Boko Haram is, uh, uh, is not in uh, Latin America. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not in Latin America, but like I said, in my solvency point too, it directly links Latin America to Africa. And I asked you in my topicality that I, I actually did meet that interpretation because in my solvency point too, there's evidence provided how Africa is linked to Latin America. Even though the resolution is about Latin America, my solvency point too does link it. And that's it. And so on the standards of education, I do not violate the topicality. Uh, so I, I, for all right, I ask you to look at that evidence and judge for yourself. Again, on the other part of the topicality, she talked, uh, my opponent talked about um, sub substantial reduction. I, I don't know how much more substantial you want us to get. We're cutting all training. <laughs> we're cutting all training in, a, um, we're ending all military training export programs in Colombia and Brazil. And that's significant because it's a substantial amount. We're all of them. It's like more than fifty percent of those uh, 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 of of that program is going to be ended. So that's certainly it is it is substantial, Judge. And uh, on the again on the standards of education, I I don't violate that. And uh, I for all right, please look to that first. So then uh, again, I want to talk about a little bit about uh, about the about the funding a little uh, about the uh, the. About the, about the status quo, about the military spending, what's happening in the status quo. 
Well, uh, my opponent didn't even know what's happening in status quo because military spending actually just increased two weeks ago. Uh, President Trump, he increased military spending by over 10% just over two weeks ago. So uh, so that kind of goes against your argument that we need to increase military spending or we just increase military spending. Uh, so that, that we can just cancel that out, Judge. Also, uh, we're not cut, our plan does not cut military funding we're placing those funds that would otherwise otherwise be used to, to train programs elsewhere, like putting it towards the education. So that's another reason why you're going to be voting for the affirmative side, Judge. And uh, we, the our our two advantages solve uh, solves a lot of problems. Like the Southern Command, they they we do do a lot of good things. It's, I mean, not we. The Southern Command does do a lot of good things, like stop sex traffickers and humanitarian efforts on these things it's great it's great but we're not cutting like that like my opponent suggested that that we that we, that we were and that's why you want to make